Mousy, Sleepy Macy. This room's a train wreck. What? This room's a train wreck. Well. Oh, let's see what we <laughs> So you get up to bring everything back. I think we will make it all there. Doo 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 what? Uh. Oh. Now you're gonna be possessed. Oh. Oh, let's go get Big Boss, man. Yo, oh, a baseball bat. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> this seems to be the emergency. Uh, this guy's kidnapping everyone. Yo. <laughs> No call. <laughs> Get over here, like my yeah, yeah. Get us like my A manly bat. <laughs> it's food. <laughs> no. So you tie them around each other. <laughs> no cops needs no cops. I, I, I'm not going back. Not going back where? I'm not going back to jail. I already served 15 years in there. I ain't going back. Oh yeah, why did you serve 15 years? I went to school Nikki. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I went to school Nikki. What school with no clothes on? Why? Uh, because I wanted to. <laughs> you act like it's uncommon for a kid to go to school naked. It is. You act like you have to wear clothes to school. You kind of have to. <laughs> it's not like the shower where you just not wear clothes. You act like you have to. You act like it's a school policy or something. You act like it's a law. <laughs> I feel like you did more than that if you went to jail for 15 years. <clears throat> Besides me being one of the girls in the class, but it's really You're what? Oh, nothing. <clears throat> they don't know that I raped. They don't know that I raped one of the girls. They don't know that I make one of the girls in my class <laughs> when I went to school with Nikki. So yeah. That's also why I did 15 years. But they don't know that part. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Because cause you act like there's a law or something that you can't go to school with. I mean, I find it kind of hard to believe that you get 15 years just for that. Public duty or some shit. I don't know what they call it nowadays. <laughs> it is what they call it. <laughs> you act like there's a law that says you can't go to school with no clothes on and being drunk. <laughs> see, you see, went drunk with no clothes on.
far as we where it goes now. Oh yeah, also I did go to school drunk. I was drunk naked and I raped a girl, but they don't know they don't know the drunk and naked part. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> oh, why are we gonna review your friend Super D? Oh, that's right, he's not alive. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes, he is. Go ahead. Alright, Super D, what do you think about Mason? Well, my name is Super D. I am, as you can tell, disinformed, thanks to that motherfucker, Mason. So Mason's the one that did that. <laughs> yes. You see, I was normal, just like all of you, until he blew off all my limbs because... He was mad that I stole his girl, but it wasn't even his girl. <laughs> and now that happens a lot. My arm falls off, because that's the only arm I had. I'm just a head and an arm. I used to be a wrestler, too. Oh, yeah. What, what was your name as a wrestler? ECW Brawler, but, uh... Oh, yeah, we know him. We heard of you. Yeah, the match against Bader. Yes, I was ECW Brawler, and I was good. I was extreme, just like TDE, and now, after I met Macy, <laughs> after we crossed paths in a match, he blew off all my limbs. And that's why you haven't heard about ECW Brawler in a while. He's on him. Also... Miss calling me stupid Super D for I don't know <laughs> what reason. But I'm just going with it, acting like I'm his best friend, when really I'm we, not. We heard, you, we heard you wanted your gangbang song with him. Nope. That's all him. Alright, I'm going to go back to acting like I'm his best friend. Alright. <laughs> so you're saving me. Yeah, see, see, see. Super D's my best friend in the whole wide world. See, he doesn't hate me one bit. He's the only person. Exactly. See, I know he said a whole bunch of nice things about me in the interview. Oh, yeah. He was talking about how he's your best friend, how he would do anything with you. Sweet, so we're on for that threesome. Wait, what? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. I didn't say we were on for a threesome with anything. Wait, Alexa Bliss? I mean, nothing, <clears throat> nothing, nothing. All right, let's interview the dumpster. You see, makes you cry and he's a chill dude. But he's not chill enough to elbow drop each other one of his girlfriends. He's not cool enough to get a girlfriend. Like, yours you're truly, the dumpster. So yeah, now I have to go hide for the cops. So you interview my best pal, Duckster, huh? Yup. I bet he said how I was a chill dude. Oh yeah, he did. <clears throat> did he tell you how we sold drugs together? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. If he didn't say it, then I'm not gonna say it. <clears throat> Alright, next interview my homie, Tommaso Trample. All right, so Maso Champa. Mason's a bitch. <laughs> hey, well, that was a quick interview. All right, next, let's interview the cops. Well, <laughs> that was a quick interview. <laughs> Mason's a bitch. Next, the cops. If we ever find Mason, he's under arrest for life. Why? You. Because of all the crimes he's committed, like my. Like what? Can you specify what those crimes were? Public nudity, <laughs> rape, pedophilia. Can you, can 
kidnapping like a mine. Or not like a mine. Did he kidnap you guys too? Yeah, we got away. And now when we catch him, he's going away for a long, long time. See, I think they come from like, oh, they're not going to catch me because they know how slick I am. They know how cool I am. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, and all those cries are just a misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's what they said. Exactly. I knew what everyone said. Just like my, my homie, Tommaso Tampa, said, look, best... Best pals in the whole wide world. All right, let's interview another one of your so-called best pals, The Big Show. All right, go ahead. Yeah, he he claims we're his best friends, but he's just breaking into our house, claiming it's his house, and he's never gonna be cool because a pedophile and a rapist. Well, that's The Big Show's interview. Yeah, see, he was probably so kind to me because he's my closest best friend in the whole wide world next to Super D. Yup. Totally. Alright, how about Sam, man? I swear to God, if I ever catch him, I'll reach right through his screen and I'll send his spirit all the way to heaven, maybe even 10 miles away from here. What about my homie the fiend? Uh, yeah, that interview. What'd he say? <laughs> he just gave a thumbs up to you. Exactly. Like, he actually gave him one of the end signs. <laughs> How about my homie Demon Feet? Didn't know you were friends with him. <laughs> Never even knew you were friends with him. AKA the Halloween Demon. He's crazy. Be the end of his life. <laughs> <clears throat> Boo chili! That's right. Boo chili, folks! I've never heard anyone say bone chili. At least not like that. So there you have it, folks. All oh, my best friends in one talking good about me. Uh, yeah, all of them talking good. Wait, wait, wait. There's one more. I would like you to interview the Rich Meister. The Rich Meister. My partner in curling. Yeah, see. Nice and Drink 10,000 beers, snort tons and tons of cocaine, <laughs> do weed, hear every single kind of drink, and you know you told him how to spank it, he's screw friends, cause it's the proper way to get one, okay? So yeah, now if you excuse me, I'll just spank it each one of your girlfriends, okay? Spank it! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see? I bet he had some good words for me. Well, it's the Rich Meister. Yeah, my running buddy. My partner in crime. Alright, we never got down to your dating life. Okay, what do you want to know? Who who are your crushes? Or who have been your girlfriends? Oh, here You've been kidnapped. Alright, so what they don't know is that I'm not actually going to tell them that. But I'll tell you guys, the audience. It was Tiki Docs, Alexa Bliss, Peyton Cassidy, an 11-year-old. 
I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Scratch that. It was not eleven year old. It was more like thirteen year old. Oh, scratch that. Scratch that. It was more like a thirty one year old behind you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thirty one year old. I'm currently married to Mason Crying Lover at ninety six, and uh, she's loving my life right now. And uh, we're here every single day, and uh, we're gonna have three kids already. Mason Crying Junior. <laughs> Mason Cry Junior Junior <laughs> And Mason one two three four five So uh, yeah Oh that, that, that's tough that's tough Uh I rather not say <clears throat> But all okay. you all you guys need to know is I'm happily married right now. Okay, next question. What would you say are your accomplishments? Easily. The cruiserweight title. The universal title. The WWE title. The intercontinental title. The United States title. Every title in WWE. Because I'm the best wrestler on the planet of this earth. The all-star title. I'm the best champ. I'm the best wrestler on the planet Thanks, today. Dude. I'm the best wrestler on the planet today. They kill him again. Now, what they don't actually know is that, you see, I was all those champs. I'm not going to lie. I was all those champs because I am the greatest man that ever lived. Not that motherfucker on stairs. He can suck it because I'm the greatest man that ever lived. I'm the greatest wrestler in the world. I'm the best at what I do. Not Chris Jericho. You see, WWE's going to go places thanks to the face of the company, Macy Crying. Yeah, so uh, obviously we saw his interview, and uh, I'm just here to say that <laughs> he's totally lying. He's not the best, but you know who is? Tommaso Ciampa. I'm the best. And you know what? Mason and everyone else will not survive. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. So, I know what you have. I don't know what Champ is saying, but, uh... Um, are you going to get that, Mason? I don't know what Champ is going to say, but, uh, I got to run right now because the cops are currently... Open up as the cops. At my door, so, uh, yeah, goodbye, guys. <laughs> oh! Try to catch me, motherfucker! Where'd he go? Try to catch me! He's currently, he's currently in there. Let's get him! Trying to catch me, motherfucker. Open up, please. <laughs> You're under arrest. Open up. Behold, great barrel flows. Uh, okay. All right, first of all, we just want to ask you a couple questions. Yes, you want to know my wizard abilities? Uh, no, we want to know where Mason Cry went. Or if you know anything about Mason Cry. I know he's not in the level of the great and powerful house. That yeah, doesn't really answer a question. I don't think he knows anything like my head. You want to teach you my ways? Uh, no, we're just gonna keep looking for Mason. <laughs> well, that worked. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, my magic spell worked. <laughs> Why did you have a different voice for a second? Uh, I don't know. It's 
in all medical condition. That happens when your neck is ten times the size of your head. Strike everyone for Open up. Uh, do you know anything about Mason? What do you mean? About Mason crying? No, but if you want to know something, you want to see how hard, how hard this horn hurts. Uh, no, you can probably sell someone else. Cause I am the Rhino Man, the great and powerful Rhino Man. I crush everything. Like, do you want to be crushed by a great and powerful rhino man? Uh, no, we're good. Suit yourself. I'll find somebody else. <laughs> They'll never know it's me in the skies. <laughs> you see, I found a way to run from the cops. It's easy. Just disguise myself as somebody. Change my voice. And bada bing, bada boom. It works out. Is that why you're changing your voice right now? Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go back to be a rhino man real quick. The next subject of the great and powerful Rhino Man. Nope. That's what I thought. Moving my way. Oh! Oh my god. I didn't see you guys there. My bad. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't see you guys. Dude, let's go here. For a sec. I don't see you guys. Undercover cop. <clears throat> he doesn't know though. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, Rhino Man. <laughs> That's right. Horn! 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 Rhino Man! Yeah, I remember your voice sounds a little bit different, but I remember it. Puberty. What? <laughs> okay. Voice change. Everyone goes through voice changes. Ah, puberty. Yes. Also, I was a great and powerful rhino man, so I could change my voice to whatever tone I wanted to be. I don't remember Rhino Man ever saying he's a great and powerful Rhino Man 13 times. Um, you're, okay, you know. Well, people change and people say different things. I'm a great and powerful Rhino Man. You bow down to the Rhino Man and face the horns of justice. Or meet iron and steel. Iron and steel. Do you want to be introduced to iron and steel? No, but I think wherever Mason is, he does. I don't know who this Mason guy is. I'm the great and powerful Rhino Man! I don't know this Mason character, but I'm the great and powerful Rhino Man. Let me go get my beer. Great and powerful ride on me. You just said that. <laughs> what well, I want you to know that I'm the great and powerful ride on me. I don't remember ride on me ever caring what people call him. Well, you need to know that I'm the great and powerful ride on me. You just said it like 16 times. Well, 
It's about time you know who you're dealing with. <laughs> oh, I think that's one of Mason's crushes. There's one of Mason's crushes. <laughs> Rhino Man needs to go get her. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's for to see if she's safe. Hey, Mason, are you safe? I don't think she's safe around Rhino Man. Especially weird Rhino Man. <laughs> she's safe around the great and powerful Rhino Man. I'm just gonna take her somewhere safe in a remote location where no one can find the great and powerful Rhino Man. Aren't you supposed to be a supervillain? Not a superhero? Exactly! That's why I'm taking her. We just said you were taking her somewhere safe. In a remote location. Let's trigger some more. It's super dangerous. Oh yeah, I think that's another one of Mason's crushes. It's super dangerous. I'm taking her too. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, I was just filming the view out here. Yes, hey. I know. But I put them in a remote location where no one can find them. Because you're the great and powerful Rhino Man. Because I'm the great and powerful Rhino Man. That is correct. Now, you got any more of these Mason characters' crushes? Can't say I do. Never mind, I think I see one. Well then, I'm gonna take her to a safe location, to a remote location where she will be ultimately destroyed with the other two. Because I'm a great and powerful Rhino Man. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're a great and powerful rhino man. You said that like 25 times. <laughs> Hello, baby girls. See you and see you and everything will be alright. Just alright. Right now, who is that? The great what are you doing? The powerful Rhino Man will find you, intruder. Why are you in that tub of whatever that is? Weapons. You're the intruder. Rhino Man must destroy intruder. <laughs> you think the great and powerful Rhino Man? Has it figured you out? Oh! 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 Intruder! There's two of me. Oh! I'm not Shane Michaels. Yes, you are. You lying intruder. Yo! Yo! Intruders must be destroyed. Tie you guys up. Yeah. So, you guys were sneaky in here, huh? You know what happens? I'm just an advocate. You know what happens to intruders? 